YouTube, last week I went on this exciting tour of the sewer in Albany, Georgia. As you may or may not know, we have a huge problem with our sewer system. It is going to undergo a huge $100 million remodel. So I'm going to try to attach it to this video to make this video longer. And if I can't attach it to this video and I still have a problem uploading it to YouTube, then go ahead and click the link below. It'll take you to my Facebook page. Make sure you go ahead and like my Facebook page. It'll keep you up to date on all the real estate housing information that you could possibly need. Also all my listings, hopefully. So hopefully you can get some knowledge out of my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully maybe this video added on to the video and it'll be a long video. But either way, let's go ahead and dive into this week's inventory. Go to this week's inventory numbers and go ahead and watch the, watch the rest of this video or click the link below to a sewer tour video because I think it'll be a fantastic video and give you a lot of information you may want to know. But anyways, here are the numbers for this week. In Doherty County, we have 133 single family homes on the market, which is eight less than we had last week. Like I've been telling you all for a long time now, it is a fantastic time to get your home sold. So definitely pick your phone up, go ahead and give me a call, and let's go check out your house and see what we can list it for. I'll pull you some comps. And in Lee County, we have 31 single family homes on the market, which is three less than we had last week. Inventory is very low. It is a fantastic time to get your home sold. In the link below, you can go ahead and also send me your home address. I'll go ahead and send you over a free CMA. Maybe you don't even want to sell. You just want to know what it may be worth. Maybe you want to think about selling it. Go ahead and click the link below and let's get your home listed. Get your home sold. Yep. Let's check out the rest of this video and a sewer tour in the link below. Albany, today we're going on the sewer tour. Time to get dirty and see what's going on with the sewer system. As you know, we have a huge problem with our sewer here. Maybe you don't know that, but we do. We have a huge problem and it is going to be cost around a hundred million dollars. Yes, one hundred million dollars to correct that issue. Let's see what's going on. Here we are at the sewer. Let's go take a tour.
that's kind of just an overview of where we started, uh, how things evolved over the years. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go out, we'll stop here in the hall just a minute. We have a SCADA system that, that gives us some uh, information about what's running and, and, and capacities and flows at the plant uh, that the operator, the, the managers can look at. We have operators stationed throughout the plant to handle different aspects of the, the treatment process. But uh, it's kind of a central reporting station here. It goes in the inlet. Yeah. So the conveyor belt just catches anything in the gutters that's like not a solid and brings it up right there. Is that what it does? Well, it, I mean, it, it does got a rake in there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Uh, the, the infamous flushable wipes that, that are flushable, but don't degrade. Nothing don't. Asking, Looks like some dirty water for swimming. Really dirty. Pump discharge. That's where it all comes in right there? Is that where it's all come in? This is where it goes through the process out. Okay. Initial processing and Right, when the pump comes on, it pushes the flaps up, and the water goes out, and then when the pump gets off, it flows back to the water doesn't run back. These are grit classifiers where the water, with the grit, from the grit tanks, is pumped up here, and most of the water is removed, uh, and then you get a nozzle that brings up let the grain more and then the grit finally jumps into the dump. By that time, the nozzle is fine. It's going to fall out. Okay. Uh, and then the grit is going to come out. Of course, when we have rainfall, we have a bunch of dirt and stuff washing in off the street and get more, more trash and more, more grit. Got a lot of leaves. Got some pieces of green things. Okay. You get more and more, the more trash versus the rainfall. Well, primaries over there, which is basically our, our backup system. How we use, but most of the flow generally goes to the older primaries here. And when we get about 30 mgd, it will start back to this way. Uh, it all comes at, it ends up coming back to some place in the area. There's our sodium bisulfate tanks and some electrical equipment. This is an older headway from 1972 that right now is just kind of used as a backup. What's in those tanks over there? That is chlorine. Okay. Uh, uh, basically, the bad fluent, once it goes through the treatment process, and we have to look at that tail end uh, is chlorinated uh, to kill off the bacteria. Then also sodium bisulfate ends up, we put that in to, after it's disinfected, to take the chlorine back out so we don't adversely affect the river organism. Uh, well, let's make this okay. Uh, 
uh, th these are our primary sedimentation tanks. Uh, basically, stuff that's pumped in after it screams and degraded, pumped in through this big pipe here. Here, we've got four, four sets of tanks. Uh, what happens here is it's, it, you know, it's a fairly quiescent flow. So your, your heavier biological material settles out. If there's any scum, that's transferred to the other end and, and, and skimmed off the top here right away. Uh, so we have uh, the skimmer right here pushing things through. Right, it, it, it doesn't move real fast. Mm -hmm. Anything that's floating, it transfers to the and then anything on the bottom, as far as the ball up the side, it pulls it back this way, and there's a pump under here. You've got pump in the building there to pump it over to the bathroom. But again, this is one of the original uh, structures that was built around 1960. Uh, it's been, it's been. The, the guts have been replaced over time, but the mm -hmm. tanks are still in good shape. Uh, so, in fact, we're working on some stuff here today. So. That is a skimmer that moves really slow, cleaning all the sludge out. So you can see it moving. So how much, about how much? Is there in these things when it's full? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you can about, about 10 feet of water. Okay. Yeah, what I'm saying is, how, how much can it do when it's full? Um, how much can we process? Yeah. Okay. These, all four of them can process about 30 million gallons per day. So you're, right now, you're about. If you're not at full capacity right, right. processing. Normally we run about half of that uh -huh. unless it's raining. Okay. okay. How many cleanings does the water actually have to go to clean before it's in 